So I put together this thing and I'm calling it 75 Hotter. So this is 75 Hotter. I was minding my own business scrolling on TikTok and all of a sudden this thing comes up that's called 75 Hotter. And it's been kind of trending everywhere and a lot of girls are doing it. And so I have to talk about it. So she starts off the video by saying during the fall, she like loses herself and gets like really big and gains weight. And she says that she doesn't want that to happen this year. Which that statement alone has so much to unpack with like societal standards and stuff, but we'll move on to the next thing. She says she wants to lose 10 to 15 pounds and this is how she's going to do it. And she even made like this weird Canva poster and she told all the girls to set it as their screensaver, their diet as their screensaver. So there's obviously like there's like some dating stuff. There's also like 10 hot girl steps a day. But then basically down here, it's kind of covered, but she talks about you need to have a workout and you have to sweat a lot and walking doesn't count as a workout. Again, with like the weird fitness rules. Drink enough water for your pee to be clear. So for 75 days, her pee cannot be yellow. No yellow pee here. You can't drink alone, but you can drink to celebrate. You can't see on the bottom, but talks about aesthetics. She has to do one thing for her bodily, physical, outward aesthetic. Every week. She talks about diet and wants to prioritize greens and protein. Totally understandable. This is where it gets bad. She has something called the three bite rule. And she's claiming that it's not restrictive, but she can only give herself three bites of something she's craving. 75 hotter is starting to sound like something else. Guys, when you see these toxic diet things come up on your For You page, literally just keep scrolling. It's toxic and probably is going to lead you to an eating disorder.